Hey guys, I'm running Temasek uh, CM12.1 on my Galaxy Note 3. This is the SMN9005, uh, the international model, but you can go ahead and install this also on T-Mobile Sprint Verizon if you have a developer edition. All right, and you'll see that I'm running the latest Android 5.1.1, which just came out. Uh, this is freaking awesome. Everything works out of the box. Also, um, there are some customizations. I mean, the UI itself is just absolutely no lag. It is so fast. On Antutu, I got a score of 47,069 there. Oh, I'll just show you there. Um, so it is a very fast ROM, and I actually disabled my hardware keys. That's why my hardware keys are not working. But you can go ahead and use your software keys. Uh, the UI itself is fast. It will make your phone run super fast. Uh, most importantly, because everything's very efficient with Android 5.1.1, all the bugs uh, from previous regular Android 5.1 Lollipop has been squashed. Uh, very fast UI. Uh, also, you do get audio FX. Also, camera is a little bit iffy sometimes, but it's mostly okay. The first time you start it up, it might like kind of act up, uh, but go ahead and reboot once and then it should work just fine. And also video recording works just fine. Um, make sure you can also, you can also record in 4K. <clears throat> I'm recording in 4K right now. All right, which is nice. Also your SD card, you can use uh, XFAT if you need to, because with Lollipop, XFAT is supported. So above 32 gigs of uh, SD card is supported. All right, of course, themes. This is basically CM12.1, but with optimizations added by uh, XAUSER Temasek. And you'll see Temasek spare parts where you can go ahead and enable your app circle bar if you want. Uh, the little shortcuts here, which is nice. This is one of my favorite shortcuts, by the way. And also you can go ahead and actually disable heads up notifications. With Lollipop, heads up notifications is basically part of it where you get the notifications on top. A lot of people don't like it. This ROM allows you to turn it off. So just turn this on. If it's already on, turn it off and you will have no more heads up notifications when you don't want it. Um, display, you can go ahead and change the LCD there. Gesture anywhere. This is pretty simple stuff. You can go ahead and add a gesture to any of your favorite applications. Let's do a C here. Uh, and also you'll have to uh, mess with the trigger position with I do recommend about the upper left. That way you can go ahead and do that. All right, C and boom shakalaka. Um, so that's nice. Ah. Gesture anywhere, lock screen options, lock screen, middle screen shortcuts, bottom corner shortcuts, recent panel. Uh, you can go ahead and change how the recent location works. I like it actually like pff, top right now, nah. bottom right is my best location. That will allow you to kill all the apps there. All right, Omni switch, if you want to change it. Uh, screens and animation, you get custom animations. You can go and set it any way you like. All right, that's about it. Other than that, you get straight up 12.1. So, you know, Temasek builds are actually really solid. He's been building all of the CM Sinogen mod builds. Um, so this one is looking really good and it's really stable. Oh, because 5.1 was already beta and 5.1.1 really is, you know, the, the, the next step where it's stability. Um, there's not actually stable version, official stable version for regular 5.1, but 5.1.1, I would say, is really the stable version. Um, there's a bunch of phones I've been running. I've been on, running this on a ton of phones over here, over here. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to have an overview of all of these different ROMs, but... They work flawless, 5.1.1. So if you want the best Android 5.1.1, definitely check out, start with Temasek uh, CM12.1 build. And do let me know again. Again, this is available for T-Mobile, uh, Sprint, uh, AT&T Verizon if you have a developer edition. Also is the SMN9005, and also Canadian, is, since it's compatible with T-Mobile. Uh, and pretty much all, any Qualcomm-based uh, Galaxy Note 3, uh, without a lock boot loader, you can pretty much install it if the model's not listed. But there you have it. Do let me know what you think, but I think you guys will love 5.1.1. Um, even if you don't want to use it as a daily driver, you like TouchWiz for certain features, you can go ahead and back, make a backup ROM uh, and then try the ROM and then go back to it, you know. Or you can switch back and forth. Maybe on the weekend you can run the CM12.1 for fun. 
uh, on the weekday, you can go ahead and do your regular thing with touch eyes. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. I have a ton more videos coming today on this channel and a bunch of other channels. So uh, stay tuned and I will see you guys soon. Uh, as always, stay home on Android. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, a Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.